Hello everyone, my name is Desio Lisboa. I'm a master's student at the State University of Santa Cruz, located in Leos, Bahia, Brazil. And today I'm going to present our project, which is called the GSK3 from Oniliophthora Horeri, reproposing number inhibitors and natural ligands against a phytopathogenic fungus of the cocoa tree. Oniliophthora Horeri belongs to the Marasmiaceae family. This fungal is known for attacking only two genus of plants, the Ehania and the Theobroma genus. Oniliophthora horeri is also known for being a amibiotrophic fungus once it has two stages in its life cycle, the biotrophic stage and the necrotrophic stage. And it's only during the necrotrophic stage where we can see the infection itself. A mass of spores is formed on the fruits and those spores are released along the crops causing uh, economic loss especially for cacao producers here in South America. Oniliophthora uh, horeri so is known for causing a disease which is called moniliasis which is also known as frosty pod rot due to the aspect that the fruits get once they are infected. This disease has is spreaded all over the South, Central and North America. And Brazil was the last country to be infected in July 2021. So our goal was to use in silico methodologies for reproposing the old drugs inhibitors and natural compounds available in public database for rationally discovering new molecules to mitigate this fungus. So to do this work, we first performed a sequence similarity analysis through a blast using the genome of the fungus against the PDB data bank, which gave us a list of possible targets. From this list, we pre-selected uh, some targets and we modeled some of them by homology using the Swiss model. Once the proteins were modeled, we then searched for possible inhibitors for those protein targets that worked as our receptors. After that, we performed a docking analysis and we used the PIMOL to visualize the complex formed by the receptor and the ligands, which were our inhibitors. To validate the biological importance of our protein target, we built a protein-protein interaction network using the string database, the R, and we used the cytoscape to visualize the network. As a result, GSK3 was the protein that was modeled and chosen to be our protein target as a receptor. Uh, we also found four possible inhibitors for this protein. As we can see, manzamine A and other three proteins were selected. The image here on the left show the complex built. The GSK3, its uh, active site in pink, and the manzamine A binding to the site, forming the complex. Docking analysis revealed manzamine A as the best uh, suitable inhibitor for GSK3. As we can see, it showed a 9.1 affinity energy and the RMSD was also uh, representative for all the four uh, inhibitors that we had selected. In addition to that, two protein-protein interaction networks were built. The first one on the left, as we can see, the black dots 
represent the proteins that are considered to be hubs and bottlenecks. Uh, and GSK3 was one of them. As we can see, the line, the green line shows the GSK3 as a black dot, which represents a boronac and hub protein. And on the right, uh, we have the GSK3 highlighted as its uh, network. The GSK3 showed uh, 6 to 1 interactions and we also performed a ontology analysis which showed that this protein is related to protein cell modification processes and serine turning um, phosphorylations as well as uh, an other cellular process. So in conclusion, we have that docking analysis reveal manzamine A as a possible inhibitor for GSK3 with uh, an affinity energy of 9.1 kilocal per mole. I would like to thank my university and our genetics and molecular biology graduate program. The LBKC, which is the lab of my mentor, this lab is located at Wesby University in Brazil and CAPS for financially fund this uh, work. I would like to thank you for watching this presentation and if you have any question please email us. Thank you very much.